We were asked to use the relationship between exponentials and logarithms to prove the zero and identity exponent rule for the following. Notice how we're given two log equations. The first log equation is log base eight of one equals zero. This is an example of the zero exponent rule for logarithms and exponentials, which is log base b of one equals zero for b greater than zero. And the second log equation is log base eight of eight equals one this is an example of the identity exponent rule for logarithms and exponentials, which is log base b of b equals one, again for b greater than zero. So to prove or show these log equations are true, we will use the relationship between exponentials and logarithms, where the log equation log base b of x equals y is equivalent to the exponential equation b raised to the power of y equals x. So to write a log equation as an exponential equation, we need to identify three parts. We need to identify the base b, the exponent y, and the number x. So for number one, we're given log base eight of one equals zero. This is true since as an exponential equation, the base b is equal to eight. A logarithm is an exponent and therefore the exponent y is equal to zero and this must equal the number one which in our equation is x. So log base eight of one equals zero since eight raised to the power of zero, we know is equal to one. Remember any non-zero real number raised to the zero power equals one. Another way to check the exponential equation from the log equation is to start with the base and work around the equal sign which would give us eight raised to the power of zero equals one. And now for number two, we have log base eight of eight equals one. This is true since as an exponential equation, the base b is equal to eight. A logarithm is an exponent and therefore the exponent y is equal to one and this must equal the number eight which is x in our equation. So log base eight of eight equals one since eight raised to the power of one equals eight. I hope you found this helpful.